Continuing our coverage now, emergency room doctors are bracing for packed ERs. They expect to see the cold weather injuries due to the piling snow and the coldest temperatures we have seen in 20 years. RTV6 reporter Tanya Spencer is live downtown with tips to keep you and your loved ones out of the emergency room. Tanya? Well, Erica, two words, frostbite and hypothermia. Both can happen within just minutes in the record cold temperatures that we're about to see at the end of this weekend and the beginning of the work week. This is what frostbite looks like. It can start to happen quicker than you think and can cause irreversible damage. If it's bad enough and you don't get it warmed in time, um, it can lead to amputation. And what we recommend is unless you absolutely have to, to stay indoors, um, because once you get outside, any exposed skin within about 10 or 15 minutes can actually freeze. Dr. Ryan Venus is one of the many ER doctors who expects emergency rooms to get slammed over the next few days due to cold weather injuries and not just from frostbite and hypothermia. Cold, ice, a lot of slips and falls, a lot of broken bones, a lot of head injuries. Um, you know, I think we as Hoosiers forget from year to year what the winters are really like or what it can be like. Clearing snow is another big hazard. This snow will be heavy and accumulate quickly. Don't try to clear it all at once. And if you have heart or lung problems, have someone else do it for you. As for sledding fun, Dr. Venus says with the coldest temperatures in 20 years expected, it's best to keep the kids inside for this snowfall. The blood flow gets reduced to our, you know, our faces, our hands, our feet, our toes. And so those areas especially can get really affected and become frostbite pretty easily. And so here are the signs to look for of hypothermia, becoming lethargic, confused, and bright red skin. Signs for frostbite, pale, painful skin. And since the kids and elderly are more susceptible to these extremely cold temperatures, you're asked to check on them pretty often over the next few days. Reporting live downtown, Tanya Spencer, RTV6.